Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to the Heater Tips channel. Today we're going to have a critical review on whether Dyson heaters and the Dyson hot and cool fans are actually more efficient than cheap regular space heaters, such as this one. This is an old school oil filled radiator that I use personally and I'm very satisfied with it. And yeah, we're going to compare the Dyson, the expensive Dyson heaters with just the regular stuff that you can buy anywhere. So first of all, here's a quick summary. Yes, Dyson heaters are efficient. The company Dyson does its best at optimizing everything that's built into a Dyson heater, the, the design, the, the airflow, the, and of course also the, the heat distribution within the room. Um, but from a technical perspective, a Dyson heater is still not more efficient than any other type of heater. Let's take a closer look at what I mean. First of all, a Dyson hot and cool heater is rated at 2 kilowatts, that's 2000 watts, which is already 33% or one third higher than regular space heaters. Most regular space heaters use about 1500 watts of power. This actually means that a Dyson hot and cool heater requires more energy to run when compared to regular space heaters, and it requires 33% more energy to run. However, a Dyson hot and cool consists of two parts, which is the heater part and also the fan part, which is built inside. So one part of it creates the heat, the other part of it blows the heat out. And it might be that the heating part requires 1500 watts of power and the additional 500 watts to make up for the 2000 watts uh, total power are just responsible for distributing the heat in your room. Also something that we should note is that a Dyson Hot & Cool has a built-in thermostat. This means that it senses the temperature in your room and according to that temperature, it will produce the heat. And if your room is already hot enough, then it won't produce as much heat as when your room is cold. So I personally assume that the 2000 watts are rather a ceiling of maximum energy usage that's possible. And I also assume that Dyson heaters are designed to use 2000 watts to be able to heat up quicker than regular space heaters. Because Dyson heaters need more energy than regular space heaters and they are designed to run using a thermostat, I would not recommend them to be used in a garage gym or anywhere uh, in any outdoor location where you don't have a central heating system built in because then it will always run on full temperature, on full energy and in the end you will have a 33% higher energy usage than, than the regular space heaters. Another valuable piece of information that I found is that the thermostat reduces the power usage of the Dyson Hot & Cool by 1000 watts as soon as the target temperature is reached. So if your room is heated up enough, then the power usage will drop by 50%. So that's a good thing. But I personally would say that this is not a unique selling point. Cheaper space heaters also have thermostats. Thermostats are, in an, I would say, Thermostats are an industry standard. They are not something that's unique to Dyson. So as soon as you buy any regular space heater with a thermostat, the behavior will be basically the same. So nothing special Dyson. Okay, now we learned that Dyson does not do anything differently than other space heater vendors. Um, as long as you get a regular space heater with a built-in thermostat, um, maybe also a built-in fan, but that's not really necessary. Uh, you have the very same heating effect as a Dyson hot and cool. So there's nothing special about Dyson, except that the Dyson might look a little bit fancier. So, but if that's a selling point for you, then get a Dyson, else just get the regular thing. Dyson still claims that their hot and cool devices use 
on average 30% less energy than regular space heaters. But personally, I don't really believe that because the energy that goes into the device is the energy that goes out of the device. That's simple laws of physics. 2000 watts of power go into the Dyson Hot and Cool, 2000 watts of power go out of the Dyson Hot and Cool. If you have any other 2000 watt space heater, then it will produce the very same amount of heat. No difference. So I have no idea how Dyson gets to the 30% reduction of energy usage number. No idea. But let's assume that Dyson hot and cool heaters really use 30% less energy. How long would it take you to make up for the initial price that it takes you to, to acquire a Dyson hot and cool? I have done the research for you. A Dyson hot and cool costs about $500 on average. There are different models, but let's, let's just assume $500. So in order for a Dyson heater to be worth it, we need to have $500 in electricity cost savings. Otherwise we can say, just get another heater. Okay, a regular 1,500 watts heater costs about $240 to run per year, if you run it only in the winter times. Um, for this calculation, I assumed that it costs 12 cents per kilowatt hour to run and you run it for eight hours a day only in the cold six months from October to March. Okay, and that's $240 per year for a regular space heater. Now Dyson claims it uses 30% less energy, which would mean that a Dyson heater costs only $168 per year to run. That's a savings of about $72 and now we have to think how long it takes for the $500 to be made up by the $72 per year and the result is it takes seven years for a Dyson heater to be worth it and for a Dyson heater to actually save you money when compared to a regular space heater. It will only pay for itself after seven years. Within that seven years, a Dyson heater will probably already break. Also, probably the 30% reduction of energy cost claim is false, because it's not really in line with the, with physics, I would say. Um, and yeah, I think Dyson heaters are marketing. They are just plain marketing. I would say they are not worth it. If you like the design, you can get them, but technically they are built on sand and not on concrete. Everything they claim or most of what they claim is just marketing um, and there's no technical reason to get a Dyson heater. And that's why I still trust my old little oil-filled radiator buddy and I will stick to this one. There's no technical reason to get any fancier than this. And this was my critical review on Dyson heaters and whether they are worth getting. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope I could um, help you with your buying decision and ask me anything in the comments down below. See you next time.